Hey gents, today we are talking about a topic I am particularly passionate about. It's keeping your shirt tucked in. In the same way that I described how I'll spend most of my day pulling up my socks to make sure they're all the way up my calves and it's a comfort thing for me, I will do the exact same thing with my shirt when I'm walking around. If I stand up, move, I'll just walk around fixing my shirt all day, you know, adjusting the side and fixing it. Like every time I move, then I gotta make sure that I like fix it in there which is why I love shirt tail garters. So let's talk about all of the different methods that you can use to keep your shirt tucked in and what I find the most effective and what I think you should try out. First, a major misconception is that if you get a perfect fitting shirt and you have perfect fitting trousers, then it will not be an issue. It still is an issue and I think it's almost exacerbated because you know that the pants fit perfectly and that the shirt fits perfectly as you move throughout the day, you still, it still comes up, it still billows a little bit. It's definitely worse if you have an oversized shirt. So like on my frame, I wear a medium. If I was wearing an XXL shirt, it would definitely be way worse. But even in my collection of perfectly fitting pants and shirts, most of them are made to measure. I still wear shirt tail garters almost every single time that I get dressed up for something. And one of the methods that is talked about as a way to fix keeping your shirt tucked in is to have a longer shirt, and I've tried that as well. So whether you have a shirt that ends just under your waistline or goes down almost halfway to your knees, even that isn't a good way to keep it tucked in, which is why I recommend having some tension. So let's talk about the different methods you can use to keep your shirt tucked in and why I think most guys should get a pair of these shirt tail garters. We'll save these for the end because this is like the winner. So there are definitely some techniques you can do like a military tuck or you know tucking your shirt into your underwear and then your pants and everything. And you'll also find some interesting stuff on Amazon which are, you know, you can do shirt dots, which are like little uh, adhesives, which will go on there. That's cool. There's like hidden suspender belts that you can use. Those I never had any good experience with. I did find this belt boss. The belt boss is, it says it's typically made for guys with bigger bellies where the mechanism goes behind your belt and then you, know, you put your shirt and then it holds in place and it keeps the front, like the placket of your shirt tucked in, which, it could be then used in conjunction with shirt tail garters. I had pretty mixed results with almost everything that I found on Amazon outside of shirt tail garters. And then there's also the video that I did on the tucked trunks. This is another method that you can use where this is actually a pair of underwear with an additional uh, rubberized belt. You can see my video where I talked about that one where I ba it basically looked like I was wearing a thong. I didn't see great results out of the tucked trunks. And every time these come up in my underwear rotation, I'm like, ah, oh, geez. Then you start to get into some really specialized stuff like the magnet tuck or the shirt tails. Both of these are a way to put something like down on your shirt and in your pants so that you can then keep them tucked in. The magnet tuck, I would, I found were not like powerful enough to get in there. And then there's the pants pal. The pants pal is actually a twist on mechanism that twists onto the fabric, goes under your belt line, and because it's that's way stronger than magnet tuck, I actually found pretty good results out of the pants pal. Especially if you have clothes that fit really well, this will keep the sides of your shirt tucked in, which is really nice. So even as you move throughout the day, the way that these secure to the shirt, they actually then keep your shirt underneath the waistline of the pant, which is an interesting approach. And then there's shirt tail garters. I think the comments on my other videos are that just because they were promoted by Aaron and Antonio that they're a waste of money. I can see that line of thinking, but after now wearing them for a couple of years, they're a critical part of daily dress. You know, if I'm wearing a nice shirt and I wanna look put together and I'm wearing slacks, trousers, even jeans, I want the tension that is created between the shirt and my socks. And there's a couple of reasons for this and it's the reason that some of these special other methods, whether it's the tuck trunks or the shirt stays, magnet tuck, don't really excel, is that once you have you know, pants that fit well and you have tension between your shirt and your socks, as you move throughout the day, you're constantly getting the adjustment that you would normally have if you re-tuck your shirt in. So because the straps are attached to your socks, they pull your shirt down, if you like reach up, your shirt comes up, but then as you come down, it puts the tension back into that area so that it then like retucks itself. So you get the dual benefit of pulling your socks up a little bit, but also pulling your shirt down. And then the biggest challenge that you could then imagine is how do you go to the bathroom? I demonstrated this in my last video. You basically just slide them off to the side, you pull your shirt up a little bit, and then you have full movement. There's also the tidy tuck, which I looked at. Those were like a $5 pair of straps that went around your calves and they really looked like 
like hooker garters, uh, but they were very they were pretty effective. They weren't as good at the potty problem as before because they were so close to your legs and they didn't give you as much freedom of movement. And also I found the elastic on those wasn't as good because this is a category where you can go on Amazon and find umpteen dozens of dropship companies that just spun up and made some kind of shirt tail garters. So I do think it is worth going to a company that is known and reputable. And also because if you buy one or two pairs of these, that could be all you need for a very long time. I've had these pair of KK and J shirt tail garters for several years. I did a video on them originally, and I think they were $25. And it's a, you know, it's great elastic. They have the leather accents, and you don't need to accessorize these with anything else in your wardrobe because most people won't see them. Maybe somebody will if you live with somebody or you go home with somebody, uh, but they don't, they don't need to accessorize. And the, the tab, you know, I think I complained about the tab style on these, but it's basically as good as you're gonna get if you wanna keep it really thin and so that you don't see them at all. So even if I wear very tight pants or if I wear kind of more loose trousers, then you don't really see that you're wearing anything underneath of them. The other company is Sharp and Dapper. This is a company that makes them right out of England. And the way that these are slightly different than the KK and J is they actually have a third spoke that you would call it. So they have the one that goes down to your socks and then you have one that goes to the front of your shirt, the middle and the side. And they're about the same price, but I find the elastic to just be superb on these. And this is another thing where it's like, yes, they last a very long time if you buy nice ones. And so don't try and buy the $5 ones because they end up wearing out. A couple of concerns over the shirt tail garters, especially I've seen in my last few videos. I do not find that even with wearing the same shirt multiple times over and over, washing and everything, that they end up wearing the shirt out. I do have, and you can see this on this shirt in particular, there's a little like dimple that formed because I always tend to put those in the same place but it could very easily be ironed out. It's not really destroying the shirt and shirts aren't made to last forever either. But if you typically wear a shirt tucked in all the time, it's not gonna be a big deal. And unless you have like really paper thin cheap shirts, it's probably gonna be fine. Even like Charles Turret shirts, they last just fine. I've worn them several times with those. Second concern I usually see, you really can't tell that you're wearing these skinny pants, jeans, uh, longer trousers. When you sit down, there tends to be a little bit of like tension in the pants that goes down, but it's not anything that looks unnatural. And so nobody's really gonna be able to tell that you have them on, except your shirt will look so clean. Third concern, bathroom, I demonstrated that, not a big deal. It is something that is like an extra step in there and then the extra step in the morning or at night taking them off. I actually, when I used to work in an office that had a gym and I would go at lunchtime, I would take my socks off, leave them attached to the shirt tail garters and just put it all away in one. And then when I would put them back on, I would take the shirt and then put my socks on. So I wouldn't even have to detach the shirt tail garters and everything, it would just leave it all in one, which probably looked weird in the locker room, but who really cares? It's about looking your best outside of the locker room. Let's see, last concern. I did have one time where I didn't secure the slide tab enough in my socks and it like popped up as I was walking through the day. And then it was a challenge. You have to like go to the bathroom, take your pants off, fix the thing and then put it back on. Uh, but even with some of my thicker shirts and thicker socks, those little slide clasps, once you set them, they stay all day. So a small consideration, but if I'm trading, spending my entire day fixing my shirt and making sure everything's tucked in versus having the shirt tail garters, I'm taking the shirt tail garters every single time. So there you have it, gents. Some methods to keep your shirt tucked in. I will put links to everything down below, uh, in particular KK and J and Sharp and Dapper, two of my picks for there. Then you can check out the Pants Pal and the Belt Boss and, and all the other options down there. But but I do recommend trying one of those. If you have any questions, as always, it'll be down in the comments. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. I'd love to hear from you guys over there. And until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.